Welcome to the GMB Crush Training. This training course is a step-by-step -step guide that will show you how to make the most of your business listings with GMB Crush. You'll learn about all its features and gain skills for using it effectively in no time at all. In this episode, we'll be talking about how to use the My GMB section of GMB Crush in order for you track results and metrics that matter the most. The My GMB section will help you get a better understanding of what is going on with your business and how it can be improved. Let's get started. When you connect all of your official properties on GMB Crush, this will give access to a variety of data and statistics that reflect how well your business listing is doing online, both now as well as historical information about performance over time. The My GMB section is an excellent way for you to keep track of your business listings without missing any important information about them. You'll see the orange color show up on all official properties imported into our system, but new virtual ones will be blue so they don't get mixed together. There are two types of listings, official and virtual. Official listings refer to those you're officially managing while virtual listings can be used for audit purposes. Importing your listings is easy. Once you've purchased the plan that's right for you, all of those imported data are editable. But don't worry, none of those changes will sync back to the actual leave listing. Click on any official MyGMB listings stats icon and view its analytics section from there. There you go. The analytical section of GMB Crush offers an in-depth analysis on 11 different metrics that will give you the most comprehensive overview possible of what's going inside your business. Monitoring these metrics can give you a significant advantage over your competition. In fact, the analytics show which behavioral patterns need to be monitored for success, and you can choose which periods of time are most relevant for analysis, so that no stone is left unturned when it comes down to optimizing and getting the best results from your SEO efforts. The share link function makes it easy to send reports without having a bulky attachment or screenshots. Clicking on filters, you can see how well or badly a business listing is performing over time. You are also able to filter out data for your chosen period of time and add in comparison points so that there's no gap without information about what happened before it occurred. The following are some of the key elements that an analytical report will typically contain for the selected period of time. The current MyGMB CTR. Driving request and phone call frequency. Listing sentiment score. Business posts click-through rate. The search report section shows up. The number of times the resource was shown when searching for the location directly. The number of times the resource was shown as a result of a categorical search, for example, restaurant. The number of times a resource was shown as a result of a search for the chain it belongs to or a brand it sells the total number of times the resource was shown. Clicking on each choice will include or exclude the data from your report. With the weekly changes section, you can see how your business is performing at a glance. This will allow for quick actions that may improve its performance in future weeks. The views report provides an overview of the number of times the resource was viewed on Google Maps, the number of times the resource was viewed on Google Search, the total number of times the resource was viewed. The changes in the action section give you a clear picture of the number of times the website was clicked, the number of times the phone number was clicked, the number of times driving directions were requested, the total number of click times, current listing CTR, driving requests frequency, phone call frequency, what do customers think about your business? The listing sentiment section lets you know by showing insights into their emotional state based on the last reviews they've submitted for a certain period. With the photos count section, you can see more details about the total number of media items that are currently live that have been uploaded by the merchant. The total number of media items that are currently live that have been uploaded by customers the total number of times of media items that are currently live, the number of views on media items uploaded by the merchant, 
the number of views on media items uploaded by customers. The total number of times of media items was viewed. Do you want to know how your posts are performing? In the post section, you can find more details about the number of times the local post was viewed on Google search, total number of times that the call to action button was clicked from your published Google posts for a selected time period. The reports are ready for sharing. You can send them to your team or clients using the share link. In the next training episode, we will see how to use the GMB minor feature of GMB Crush and what steps are needed for creating your first wizard audit document. See you on the next video.